Hello all, this is Crimson Overlord bringing you a Gears 3 beta glitch slash secret room. Um, as you can see here, it is pitch black and the background for the uh, like main menu is Good to go. down there. Um, the, everybody's standing on a square floor. It looks perfectly square when you're standing in the middle. Um, and then when you kind of walk towards the edge, it seems to kind of curve a little Who's bit. Um, I don't know. L later on in the video, I show that, uh, uh, what do you call it, the floor actually has, it's not just a random f floor that you stand in. It's actually a pre-built floor, possibly a floor that they planned on putting in another map, maybe. It's kind of... It's it's purple and yellow checkers or pink and yellow. It's kind of hard to tell, depending on the TV. Um, maybe there's going to be some kind of like circus level or something. I don't know, but it's a really cool uh, looking floor, and I would love to see that floor show up in the actual game. I'm not sure what's with the little projector screen there of the Gears logo, um, and I don't know how this happened. I joined this match by accident. I died once. Um, and uh, like you know the host migration there but I died once and then then I was able to spawn here again uh, so for a while I was just kinda watching them and then I, I didn't I didn't think that they were going to attack me because of the fact that we were just kinda all glitched at the same time but uh, you can kinda see I guess if you're paying attention that the floor when people shoot the floor is kinda different colors but uh, I didn't notice it until later on in the video I'm sitting over here trying to figure out why I don't have my own and getting some stuff and things like that. And uh, it was it was cool. I mean, it was it was fun for like two minutes, <laughs> and then it was like, okay, now I want this to end. But at the same time, I wanted to know what had happened when somebody won. Would it start another match in the same area? Uh, you know, would we start? Would there be like another secret room? Was this done on purpose? So I was trying to just experiment a little bit um, nah. I don't know, it, this is just like I've never seen anything like this ever <laughs> I've seen plenty of Gears of War glitches where you go under the map and things like that and uh, I thought maybe that's what this was at first when I saw it so it just seemed like there were people under the map uh, but it looks, I mean, the whole match took place under here. Every time you died, you spawned back down here. Um, and eventually, eventually I got glitched to the point where because the lives ran out, it was, I literally had to wait for new people to join and replace the bots before they could spawn. Because once the respawns were deleted, or were gone or whatever, then they couldn't respawn, so they just had to sit there and watch me standing around like an idiot. And most people left. You know, every there was a point where there was like one or two people, and then they all left, and then, then there was one or two people again, and they all left. You know, see, it's just me and uh, one guy at this point, and I don't know why he's not respawning. I mean, I know he should be. I guess it's part of the glitch. Ah, oh, there he is. And, uh... And I like the TACCOM outlines everybody so you can kind of see what's going on because it's dark. You can kind of see there's like we're on a square platform that just is miles up in the air. I've, I've thrown weapons. I threw at some point, I don't know if I recorded it at all, but at one point I threw a weapon off the side. I threw a smoke grenade off the side. And it goes way down. I mean, this, this is a good 100, 100 feet at least. You know, up on this top of this thing. If anybody else has ever recorded this, you know, I, I would love to know because I looked it up on YouTube. While I was trying to find it and I, I couldn't couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, so it doesn't look like anybody else has recorded. I know other people have encountered it because by the end of the video, you'll see we had like you know eight or nine people in here, and it's and we ended up finishing the match. Actually, doing a whole second round and finishing the match. You know, and and I, 
it turns out what happens when you finish the match like this is it just goes on to a new map like nothing ever happened. And but I, I don't know. I recorded I recorded a big section here, you know, of me actually playing it and then me ex kind of looking around and seeing what was going on. Uh then I stopped the recording because nobody was joining and I I just wanted to sit there and wait until people got in. So there's a couple parts where I stopped the recording and then I started it again because this this would have been like a 30 minute video if I'd actually shown the whole thing. As it stands now, it's 13 minutes and that was me cutting out a lot of stuff. I like the way the flaming stuff looks on the black ground though, that's cool. Kind of looks like it's fading into nothing towards the top. I like the, I mean, I, I don't really like it, but I mean, I it, it's kind of funny, there's like a projector screen and we're standing on top of this gigantic floor and I checked later I checked the whole the whole floor not just the not just the part you're standing on but the whole sides and everything is all purple and yellow checkered and uh, like I, my my theory is that they built this particular room to test something to test weapons or to test attack com or something and then they just instead of deleting it they just wrote code to cover it up and it didn't work because that floor exists somewhere in the game. It has to, otherwise we couldn't be here. It's not like we're walking around on a random black, you know, screen. There's actually a set dimensions and a set texture and everything to the floor, so it has to exist. There's the purple and yellow I was talking about. You know, so this this floor, this material that the floor is made out of and the floor itself have to exist somewhere. So they're in the game somewhere. So they built it for a reason, which you know, it makes me hopeful that at least in story mode that there's some kind of carnival or kitchen or something that's got that floor because it looks cool. I would love to fight on that floor. And then of course like the projector screen thing is kind of funny because it's it, it kind of amuses me. It's kind of like this is what happens, you know, when the, the characters are waiting for someone to push start on the beta. <laughs> yeah, there's the, there's the start menu. We're waiting for them and I'm inviting somebody to the game so I can finish it faster because I'm trying to trying to finish it uh, and then of course it wouldn't let him join me uh, it was telling him that I was not joinable even though I was here and I was the only person in the match so that's kinda weird but it did randomly throw people in eventually so I, I don't know why uh, you know of course it's a glitch so obviously there's gonna be issues I think after I post this, once it's uploaded, I think I'll go ahead and do the analysis, start working on the analysis series some more, finish that up, analyzing the weapons. I kept hoping that thing, that logo would change or something. Of course, yeah, see, I just died and I hit record as soon as I died, because I had stopped after a while. And uh, there's this guy. Jeez, oh yeah. There's part when when round two starts is a really funny part, or maybe not. Yeah, when round two starts is a really funny part because I knew what was going on and nobody else really did. So I'm just kind of sitting here waiting, and then I ended up waiting like another ten minutes after this, I think, before somebody else joined. So then I stopped the recording again. Cause it doesn't it doesn't allow. See, I don't know how Marcus was like the bot actually got in there. That's the weird part. And then, see, I think right here is, yeah, well, this is me messing around with smoke grenade, looking at it in tech calm and stuff. And that, I didn't record it, but that chain actually moves. I never even noticed that. But you can walk around and the chain will move and then, and you can actually see it a little bit better. I like the way the smoke looks when you hit it. Like, it covers the whole floor and kind of the side of the walls. If you look at it while I'm walking, you kind of see it kind of covers. Uh, like the whole seat, it covers the whole building once it's, it's that is just weird. And this should be, this should be where, uh, yeah, this is where finally, somebody finally joined. So I'm watching him. I had just, I had killed a couple people before he joined, and he joined right after one of them, so it's put him on my team. And then they all left again. <laughs> He's trying to get off the map, because he doesn't know what's going on. I love, I love this. 
you know, because like everybody joins and nobody knows what's going on for like 30 seconds, and then all of a sudden they're like realize that we're in a glitch map, and that looks cool, dude. I wish they always looked like that. That was awesome looking. When he gets real close, you can kind of see like his armor inside the highlighter thing. And I fail. Him. And, you know, we just break his neck, even though I can't see it because I wasn't. Uh, I should have used tech on. Now this first round is funny because we know. So you'll see there's a bunch of people join now. There's like three people on the other team, and everybody on my team knows what's going on already. So we all kind of, and I know where everybody's going to spawn, so I think I get a triple kill right off the bat. Yeah, there you go. Triple kill with one shot, because I knew what was going on, and nobody else knew where they were going to spawn. And I'm waiting, waiting, and here they come again. Wait for him. And then I only got hit more that time. Because the stupid guy was in the way. It was not his fault. But we pretty much just destroyed him because <laughs> they had no idea what was going on. And But we wanted to, I wanted, or at least me, I wanted to know what was going to happen if I finished the match. I actually did. I was a little disappointed to know that it just, you know, acted like nothing happened when the match ended. I was kind of hoping it would be here forever. I was hoping it was kind of some kind of like secret that like Epic put out because the servers are down for maintenance today. So I was like, maybe they put this out. Maybe there's like one server that's, you know, making this particular thing work or something. Maybe it's a secret. Maybe they want it to be kept alive. You know, I was like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get like a shout out from Epic for keeping their glitch server alive or something. I was like all excited. And then I got disappointed because, you know, it just pretends like nothing happened. But I'm putting it on YouTube, and uh, I'll probably tweet Cliffy B since I know his thing. Uh, just to let him know that it's there in case he's never encountered it himself. Uh, so I think that's it. Yeah, it's over. I just was. I kept recording to see what would happen. Like the next match started. So. All right. So, I think everybody should thumbs this up so that it gets up on thumb it, favorite it, put it on, uh, put it on the main page, put it as like the first video that everybody gets when they search Gears Three, because I think everybody deserves to see this video, especially the people who made the game. <laughs>